Trying to create from a blank page is a bit like trying to create a sculpture from thin air. I'll admit I don't know that much about sculpting, but I'm pretty sure you need some stone or clay before you can get started. So if you've ever hit a wall, gone through a long dry spell, or just felt blocked, it might be because you were trying to summon magic instead of doing a few simple things to set yourself up for success. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? There are a handful of techniques I've picked up over the years that have enabled me to never have writer's block and literally produce thousands of works. And in this video, I'll show you how I do it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. I've written music for projects on Netflix and Disney. This is where I talk about the craft of writing music. And the techniques I'll talk about here, I don't just use for music. I'll use them for video scripts, for blog posts, basically anytime I'm trying to create something. I'm going to give you several techniques that you can try right away. But ultimately where we're going is this. To prevent yourself from getting stuck from a blank page, never start from a blank page. I'm serious though, the real reason it's so hard to create something from nothing is that it defies how the universe works. Well, perhaps the laws of physics cease to exist on your stove. If you remember nothing else from this video, remember that it is infinitely easier to change something than to manifest it. That brings us to our first technique, the shitty first draft. This is what it sounds like. You intentionally make your first draft dreadful. As quickly as possible, just get the bare bones of your piece out onto the paper or the screen. One of the most common mistakes people make when they're struggling to write is that they confuse writing with editing. Writing is when you get the word or notes out of your head and onto the paper or screen. Editing is when you take that existing material and change it. Maybe you rewrite it, add to it, or scrap it completely. But there is no editing without something to edit. Editing while you're writing is the easiest way to sabotage yourself. You brought this on yourself, man. If it sounds ridiculous to edit and film a video at the same time, it should feel equally ridiculous to write a blog post or a script or a song and edit it at the same time. And also in the same way that you start with a lump of clay and one step at a time mold it closer and closer to its final form, try to be as complete as possible with your shitty first draft. By this I mean write a beginning, a middle and an end, no matter how thin they might be at first. Forming this skeleton lets you get the most basic things out of your head so you can actually start thinking about your ideas and not just thinking of your ideas. And this is a rough draft because I'd like to take another pass at it. By the end of this draft, what you've made might still look like a meaningless lump from the outside, but you will finally see it taking shape and know where it needs to go next. So if you've convinced yourself you're gonna give the shitty first draft a try, how do you actually convince yourself to write one? You still have that blank page after all, right? The trick that works for writing that first draft is to set a timer and a specific target. For example, by the time this five minute timer goes off, I'm gonna outline the basic structure of the video. Or in 10 minutes, I'm gonna figure out the main chord progression for the chorus of my song. I recommend you work in as small a burst as you possibly can. This is not a focusing technique like the Pomodoro method, or you work for 25 minutes and take five minutes of rest. This is not an assessment of your productivity. This is about taking sprints to get you writing when you feel like you can't. Short sprints make it fun, make the task seem so trivial that you can't justify procrastinating on it, and just force you to hurry up and get something down. Obviously, this is not for deep work. This is not about getting in the zone and into a flow state. This is for when you don't feel like writing, but now you're gonna be writing anyway. So your timer is ticking away. You're gonna get your first draft out of your head and onto the paper as quickly as you can, but we still actually haven't solved the problem of the blank page. This is where we let chaos take over. Dr. Sadler, Dr. Grant, you've heard, of, you've heard of chaos theory? I mentioned before that it's so much easier to change something than to create it. When there are actually notes to listen to, you can evaluate if the end of the phrase is too predictable or if your rhythm doesn't have enough energy. With something there, you can actually decide if it's what you want and if not, take steps to redirect it. With nothing there, you're just stuck. Stuck? Stuck? So if you're going to mold and shape your material anyway, does it really matter what material you're gonna start with? That's why one of the best pieces of gear I ever bought for my studio is this, a 12-sided die that I picked up at a toy store. You can literally buy a 50-pack of these things on Amazon at what comes out to just 35 cents a piece. The reason I chose a 12-sided die is that there are 12 tones in the chromatic scale. When I don't know how to start, what I'll do is assign each note to a number and make two rolls. The first number is the first note, the second number is the second note. If I need an extra push, I'll make a third roll. Then I play with it. I restrict myself to coming up with ideas that only use those three notes in that order that I rolled. A lot of times something will grab me right away, but it really never takes more than a few minutes to find something that's interesting and gets me going. I hope we can keep this momentum going. And it doesn't just have to be pitch. The beauty of the 12-sided die is that it works for groups of two, three, four, or six. So maybe I'm trying to decide do I want a major key or a minor? I'll make major even numbers, minor odd numbers. Or what tempo do I want? And I can make one through four slow, five through eight medium, nine through 12 fast. And all of a sudden in a few rolls, I've gone from having no idea what to work on to knowing that I'm gonna have a slow piece in a minor key, starting with the notes A, F, B flat. Progress is his middle name. 
And of course, this works for things other than music too. You could go to randomwordgenerator.com, generate two random words, and then see how many sentences you can make that use those words. If you don't know what to write about, and you're literally in a place where you're writing nothing, it really doesn't matter what you write first, does it? What matters is you get some words on the page. And that's the entire point, finally getting something that will push you through the block and help you make forward progress. Did you know he could ice sculpt? No. If you're looking for more ways to inspire your writing process, check out this video where I talk about how to get Mozart as your private teacher. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.